Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I also try to discuss an important topic, mainly how we can easily monitor the urban green space and change detection map using Google Earth Engine. So I will explore all of those things one by one. So I hope after completing this tutorial, you are able to monitor for urban green space as well as you also try to compare the two time period urban green space change detection. So here you can see, uh, I create this type of map. Basically, it's one kind of urban space map for the different two time period. One map in 1990, another map is 2023. So in this time, you can easily uh, create this type of map using the different way. If you want, you can make the land use land cover classification map. And then you can just separate only for the green space or vegetation. As well as if you want, you can also use here the NDVI or if you want you can also use here the EVI and then find out a thresholding value then you can easily use the thresholding value and then you can easily find out that urban green space so here i already created the two map in 1990 and 2023 for the urban green space and then i also try to compare their area so here i can find out that 22.7 percent urban green space in 2023 and in 1990 we find out that urban green space was 77.3 percent and also you can see about that urban change mainly it's urban green space change map so basically this type uh, of red color identify about that changed area so basically in 1990 we find out that vegetation this type of red color but in 2023 there is no vegetation so this is the vegetation loss okay so it's a vegetation loss and this type of uh, green color identify about the vegetation if there is no change between these two time period so we can get that change detection map between the two time period one is that uh, from 1990 to 2023 so how i can create this type of things i will explore in this time using my code editor so let me open my code editor so here you can see this is my code editor i already created for this code so here you can see it show about that a layer look like that so we can find out that urban space uh, green space change this is the this type of red light in if about the change area between the two time period 1992 2023 so also you can see we already created that map or oh, this is the map for green space in 2023 so this is the condition about that 2023 and further also you can see about that this is the condition for green space 1990 we can get this type of green space in 1990 and this is the 2023 and this is a change between the two time period 1992 to 2023 so here you can see this is the situation about that change area as well as we are also use here uh, this calculate the area so here you can see we can uh, get this type of result so here you can see we can get the green space area in 1990 we can find out that 3193.06 hectare and 2023 we find out that 938 0.75 hectare further we try to uh, we can check about the change in r1 space area we find out that 2254 area decrease 2254.314 hectare area decrease the green space between the time period in 1992 2023 we find out that it's a loss of green space between that two time period okay so this is the process as well as we also try to make this type of pie chart so that's why it more visualization about that and when i click on here then it also look more better visualization we can easily find out that in 2023 how much vegetation or green space we find out that 22.7 percent and in 1990 how much we find out that it was 77.3 percent okay so this is the process about that visualization and now how i can create this type of things so first of all, I just take the Landsat 8 image collection, Landsat 8 top of atmospheric image collection and further I try to add here the cloud max function so that's why it remove my all of cloud, all of things will be removed from here and then I also try to apply a function, mainly this function create the band of NDVI. This same process I also try to apply for the Landsat 5 and then calculate the NDVI band and further we try to create the median composite between these two things. And then we are just applying a function. Basically, we are just applying this uh, function and then we create this NDVI between these two time. So let me check, I think some issue in here. 
Okay, so it's not need. I remove that. Okay, and further we try to find out that green space between the two time. In this time, I just try to apply the NDVI. And after the NDVI, we just try to consider a thresholding value. So in this time, I get at then all of pixel of NDVI 0 0.5. So in this time, this change detection mainly it show about that only for those vegetation which is greater than 0 0.5 between the two time period. If you increase or decrease this value, then you can also get that. In this time, we are just applying the thresholding value and then calculate this type of things. Or if you want, you can also do for the classification. Suppose you just make the land use land cover classification and further you try to find out that urban space, uh, urban green space between the two time period. Further, if you want, you can also make the change detection. And or if you want, you can just apply the thresholding technique and then you can simply find out that urban green space and then make the change detection. Okay. So it's totally different on you, which is preferred for you. And further, we try to calculate the area. We can see we can get this type of area. So we can get that urban space area in 1980 sector and urban uh, uh, green space in 2023. We can get it. And how much area we lost? We lost 2254.31 hectare area vegetation loss between the two time period in 1992 2023. This two time period, it was loss. Okay. So basically, this is the process about that. Okay. So if you have any question or any doubt about this method, you can simply contact. Or if you want, you can also join my upcoming online training program. So basically, this online training program will be start from that uh, 19 July. And now this registration is the open. And first 10 registered people will get the 50% discount on this online training program. So basically, in this online training program, we try to co uh, cover all of details as a beginners. If you have no knowledge, about the programming or if you have no knowledge about the coding such as javascript or python don't worry about that in this online training program you will learn all of those things from beginners to advanced level on google earth engine how to use it to do the different types of remote sensing analysis so you can see all of details i already added in the video description so basically it's total seven days online training program and each day total four hours mainly three hours is our live training and one hours for your problem solving class so you can easily registration on this online training program for the simply contact in this uh email or if you want contact with this uh whatsapp number so i already added all of those details in the video description simply check it as well as i also added the website link in the video description simply check all of details and you can see about that all of course content basically first day second day what you will learn all of those things you can easily get from here okay and when you want to join this online training program, you can get some benefits such as you can get the course certificate. Basically, after when you submit all of assignment and also join the all of live training session, you can get that uh, a course certificate. And you can get all of materials, mainly slide PDF. You can get all of practice code so that you can easily learn all of those things. As well as you can also get the recorded class. So basically, if you miss any live training session, you can easily cover using the recorded class. And you can also get the lifetime teaching support. So as a beginners, when you want to learn the Google Earth Engine platform, you face a lot of problems. So that's why we are also providing that lifetime teaching support. So that's why you can easily learn all of content, all of course module, all of things you can easily learn properly. And you can easily make a developer and you can easily develop any kind of remote sensing application using Google Earth Engine. So don't waste your time. You can simply contact in this WhatsApp number and also contact with this email. And to get the 50% discount as soon as possible, complete your registration. Thank you for asking that. Stay happy, stay safe.